Welcome to English 101. My name is Eun Ha Jung, and I will be your instructor. Okay, how to pronounce my name? Eun Ha Jung. Eun Ha, this contains a vowel that doesn't exist in English. The easiest way to remember my name is if you were to imagine somebody punching you in the stomach, you might make some kind of noise, right? Like, uh, that's the vowel. So make that sound, uh, n, ha. So, un, ha, un, ha. That's my first name. And my last name is Jung. Um, not that I want you to, to associate my name or the English class with any pain, but it, as a mnemonic device, it works really well. I hold my PhD in linguistics, and I will be your instructor. Okay, English 101 is a required class. If you could help it, you would much rather be doing this in Hawaii, right? Or even here. But you can't do it. You might actually end up looking like this because you don't want to be in a required English class and your past experiences in English classes might not all have been stellar. But does English have to be boring? I am of the opinion that people really don't learn anything unless they're engaged and they're having fun. So let's let's try to have an engaging fun class if we can help it. It doesn't have to be boring. The first question to ask, am I ready? Am I ready? Okay, unless you have taken online classes before, you have no idea what kind of animal, what kind of situation you're stepping into. It's completely different from on-ground classes. It requires a lot of different skills than those required by regular on-ground classes. online class the platform we'll be using is this program called Angel and it's uh, accessed through the Internet Explorer or Mozilla and I will explain in greater detail what these things all mean self-discipline Oops. self-discipline absolutely if you still have your parents waking you up in the morning you might want to change that because with that attitude you won't be able to do very well in this class motivation technology okay let's talk about technology a little bit you will need the high-speed internet a phone modem isn't going to work and you will need a thumb drive to save your work and also a Microsoft Office because we'll need um, both the Microsoft Word and one time an Excel program. I guess it's really not that important because there's another way you can get it as a PDF file. If you don't have Microsoft Office, you can get a program called OpenOffice by going to openoffice.org and it's a free program. It's very similar to Microsoft Word, um, but it, there are some functionalities that might not work in OpenOffice that um, work in Microsoft so you need to be aware of the, the limitations but you do need to remember that if you go to Microsoft there is a way you can get an educational discount and if you get if you can get previous versions which are perfectly fine for this class they are going to be just fine for this class okay and you will need a backup computer okay two things one is you will lose all of your data and notice that I didn't say you might lose all of your data you will lose all of your data and that's a fact so that's another reason why we need a thumb drive and save everything and the second thing is you will see the blue screen on the computer I guess it's the same thing as losing all the data and that sinking feeling that you feel in your gut when you see the blue screen having lost everything will come to you and I didn't say no this that 
it might come to you but it will happen so if your computer fails you will need a backup computer but also you will need to have saved all of your data so that you won't be faced with having to rewrite all the papers or worse yet you might even want to give up the entire class and I am absolutely serious and you need support you need support uh, from your family who understand that why it's important for you to spend time alone to work on your assignments because you will need about two hours that's related to time really um, you will need about two hours a day to work on the computer and I don't mean playing games on the computer I mean an angel and also working with the textbook because it's a it's a, a two-sided kind of a thing you do the online work as well as textbook work and if you cannot log in every single day you can log in every other day or even every third day but you still need to log that much um, time and you will need some adequate computing skills and if you don't have them already you really want to get some tutorial um, from your son or somebody who knows Microsoft Word really well and also the Internet Explorer and kind of get up on speed okay what to expect three major papers the personal essay a review essay and a proposal a proposal the proposal is a huge research paper with MLA citations and everything what fun huh and then two minor papers the first one is a literacy memoir which is basically you're walking down a memory lane trying to remember what it was like to learn to read and learn to write and try to rekindle the enjoyment that you initially had before all the English classes killed up that joy and the second paper toward the middle of the class is a blood diamond reaction paper for this you'll have to watch the movie blood diamond and then you have to write about how the movie made you feel and this is absolutely important because this is going to segue beautifully into your proposal and all of these things together let's go back go back personal essay review proposal and literacy memoir blood diamond reaction paper all of these things are put into your portfolio at the end of the quarter which is like a mini book like a like a little book of perfection I mean of course it's a Microsoft Word book but like a book it has your introduction which is the cover letter and a table of contents and your papers and this is so that you can display what kind of write, writing in different genres you can do in academia and it's it's like a portfolio you've seen portfolios in, in I don't know modeling shows on television or photographers they artists they have portfolios it's a little portable thing that you can carry with you to show your future employers and um, future uh, graduate schools and those places and it's so it's the it's the fruit of your labor And then there are three quizzes at least and discussion forums okay we're not meeting on ground and you know how important it is to have class discussions and that's where all the learning actually occurs okay since we're not meeting on ground we need to find a way to do it online and the solution to that problem is something called the forum discussion forums and you have you might have seen discussion forums online you know talking about where to take your boat and where to serve and all kinds of different topics and here we're gonna talk about the classroom stuff so for example forum number 1.1 is let's get to know one another and for each forum it's required for you to submit three entries it doesn't really matter you can you can 
participate in the forum in two ways. One is by if you have a new topic, start the new post. And it's sort of like you you start the new thread and people respond to the thread. So for this one I would put my name. Hello, I'm Eun Ha Jung and people will respond to it. And then reply is you go to somebody else's thread and then you reply. It doesn't really matter in in what combination you participate, but you just need to put three entries each week, each not each week, each forum. Let me repeat that. For each forum, you need to post three entries. And then there's a due date for it too, because unless everybody participates at the same time, you know, discussion, you might end up having a discussion in solitary confinement, and you don't want that. And the journal. The journal, let's go back to the journal. The journal is a little different from the portfolio because the portfolio is your finished product, right? The fruit of your labor. Journal, as well, is the fruit of your labor, but it's a messy folder, messy Word file because it contains the classroom textbook exercises as well as reading responses from the textbook and all the drafts and sketches and brainstorming, all of those things that you do to in order to write these papers. So the messy things go into the journal, clean things, spotless, flawless, air-free things go into the portfolio. Remember that. So you will produce two main things at the end of the quarter, but the journal is no less important because it shows the process Okay, let's talk about the textbook. It's called The Curious Writer by Bruce Ballinger. Okay, I was at Home Depot with my boyfriend, and at, at the um, uh, cash register, I ran into somebody, and I think her name was Crystal, and she looked vaguely familiar. This happens to me a lot in Kissap County, you can imagine. Anyway, um, we said hi to each other, and she said, Bruce changed my life and <laughs> and she meant Bruce Ballinger the textbook writer I have never heard my students or my former students refer to the textbook writer by the first name and to hear that he changed her life it was delightful it was sort of like I, it's not as if I paid her to say it in front of my boyfriend so that he'll know that I'm a good teacher although she didn't say Lunha, you changed my life. She did say, Bruce changed my life. Okay, so it was it was a very happy episode for me. But the reason that I read, I, I chose the curious writer, and I think the name tells it all, is because Bruce is a very personable guy, and you can kind of feel from reading his material that he doesn't really come from this high, you know, high, some high place in the ivory tower in the place of like a perfection already but he comes from the place where he actually you can tell that as a student he was a struggling writer so he knows where you're coming from and I think you will find that very approachable and if you kind of kind of walk along with him because he will walk you through a lot of the processes then you will you might actually end up liking writing hard to believe huh Okay, Angel is the platform we'll be using for our online class. And it's approached by going to angel.olympic.edu. You've already done that. And a page looks like this. This is the front page. And you're supposed to log in. And the initial login information is here. And there's always help. There should be some information here. Yeah, here, tech support. And then over here system check you're supposed to have all green boxes here um, it says pop-ups are bl blocked I can't seem to fix it but if you have this problem and some windows wouldn't open what you do is you right click and then choose open in a new tab or open in a new window and almost always it takes care of that problem let's look at another window okay so this is the main things that you need to pay attention to at the top is the lessons tab. Almost everything is located here. Oh, there are some useful sites that you can look 
back up as well. Okay, it starts with frequently asked questions, you know what, what this does. And the course resources, which contains the syllabus, grading rubric, and common errors, and quizzes, and stuff like that. So I want you to open these things first. And then the Dropbox Central, okay, the Dropbox, I need to explain to you the concept of a Dropbox. The Dropbox is where you submit your work, okay, when you write your papers, like the personal essay, or the review, or the proposal, you drop them off into Dropboxes, and Dropboxes are located in different units, okay, but sometimes you just want to go to the Dropbox and you don't want to have to go through the units to get to, uh, through the folders to get to the Dropbox. So there's this Dropbox Central that has links to all the Dropboxes. So if you're not sure where to submit what, this is what you want to click. And then for the remainder, everything is organized by units. Okay? So because welcome and the personal essay unit, review essay unit, and the proposal essay unit. And then if you go into, for example, week one, it, uh, you always open week one, the to-do list first. To-do list, absolutely important. And then it will tell you where to go from there, what to read, what should go in the journal, what, what needs to be submitted, and when these things need to be submitted, all these things, okay? And then the forums. Whenever you see a coffee cup, that means let's have a discussion right discussion forum so there are four forums and as I have told you for each forum you're supposed to put three entries and the due dates are listed here again the due dates actually end a week after that unit ends I'm giving you one more week but it's very important for you to participate in these discussions in a timely manner and once again, because if you participate after everybody else has moved on to the next unit, you'll be speaking to yourself like a crazy person in solitary confinement. Not that I have anything against crazy people. Okay, so it appears to be a lot of work. What's in it for me? No, I don't mean me. I get my salary. But what's in it for you? Of course, you'll get your grade, which is good can continue on with your studies which is great but really if you break it down what's in it for you okay you will learn academic writing skills in different genres because you know as we have discussed we're gonna write different types of papers and academic reading skills which is okay you can already read but that's different from academic reading right because if I were to choose one skill that is absolutely crucial in the survival in, in academic settings, I will have to say it is to be able to read boring texts really, really fast. So we're going to discuss um, academic reading skills and you will learn, you will learn them. Research skills, absolutely. And computing skills, you will be surprised by all the little tricks you will learn how to do using Microsoft Word and even OpenOffice. Okay, and by mastering all these skills, you'll be ready for any class offered at OC and beyond, and you'll be ready for workplace writing as well. So how to ace this class? Log in regularly. Okay, don't wait don't don't let time go by I don't know a week at a time and log in later to find out that there was some assignments that you missed don't do that okay log in regularly at least every other day and do not let me repeat do not procrastinate do not this will kill you I'm serious um, sometimes I feel like a medic you know sometimes I feel like come on stay with me stay with me but that is the biggest problem with online classes, people procrastinating. Participate, participate, because isolation is another problem that often happens with online classes because you're in your, you know, the convenience of an online class is fantastic, but you can also feel the sense of isolation because you don't feel connected to your classmates. So participate, participate, get to know your classmates, get to know me. 
complete all the assignments in a timely manner, of course, need I say more, but enjoy. Okay, so you might not be surfing in the ocean, but you can still be surfing online. Thank you.